Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a recent development reported by Lecho on April 9, 2024, the Belgian company John Cockerill Defense has secured a contract to refurbish and modernize several dozen Banvon 206, BV-206 vehicles for medical evacuation purposes. These versatile armored vehicles will undergo transformation at the Aubant site of the Belgian group before being delivered to Ukraine. The contract awarded to John Cockerill Defense is part of the latest series of military aid packages to Ukraine, totaling €412 million, Euros, approved by the Belgian government on March 15. This initiative forms a part of collaborative efforts between the Belgian, Dutch, and Luxembourg governments to provide military assistance to Ukraine. This is not the first instance of John Cockerill Defense's involvement in bolstering Ukraine's military capabilities. In 2023, the company successfully completed the initial upgrade of 10 M113 Armored Personnel Carriers APCs, marking the commencement of a larger project aimed at refurbishing 40 armored vehicles for Ukraine. Funded by the Benelux countries, including Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg, this initiative saw the installation of FN weapon stations on the M113 APCs, armed with 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun sourced from Belgian army stocks. The BV-206, initially developed by Haglands and now a subsidiary of BAE Systems, is a tracked, all-terrain, articulated troop transport vehicle renowned for its adaptability to challenging environments such as snow and mountains. Its mobility in rugged terrain makes it an ideal choice for casualty evacuation missions, prompting the focus of both Ukrainian and Belgian authorities on this vehicle. Germany had previously delivered 73 units of the BV-206 to Ukraine in October 2023. Measuring 6.36 meters in length, 2.3 meters in width, and 2.43 meters in height, the BV-206 can accommodate up to 10 people or carry a payload of 1.37 tons, with a total mass of 7.3 tons. Powered by a six-cylinder diesel engine generating 177 horsepower, the BV-206 can achieve a maximum speed of 52 km per hour on roads and 4 km per hour in water, boasting an impressive range of 330 km. With over 11,000 units produced during its development, the BV-206 is currently deployed in more than 37 countries worldwide for various military and civilian missions, reflecting its widespread recognition and utility in diverse operational contexts. This upsurge in production comes as a response to heightened deployments and storage demands in anticipation of potential conflicts, notably concerning territories like Taiwan. Lockheed Martin has taken decisive steps to accelerate its production, expanding the Camden production facility to cater to the increased demand. From manufacturing 350 PAC-3 MSE missiles in 2018, the capacity has now been bolstered to produce 550 missiles annually. The company anticipates further amplification, targeting 650 missiles per year by 2027, facilitated by substantial internal investments despite the absence of additional army funding. A critical aspect of Lockheed's strategy involves fortifying its supply chain through close collaboration with key suppliers such as Aerojet Rocketdyne and Boeing, responsible for providing vital components like the solid rocket motor and missile seeker, respectively. While the U.S. Army is yet to finalize decisions regarding further production increases, the confluence of industrial pressures and geopolitical tensions hints at a sustained demand trajectory. Moreover, Lockheed Martin is not confining its efforts solely to army requisites but is also advocating adaptations of the PAC-3 MSE for integration into the Navy's Aegis combat system. The Patriot PAC-3 stands as a cornerstone in modern air defense systems, renowned for its long-range, all-weather, all-altitude capabilities. Utilized primarily by the United States and several allied nations including Germany, Israel, Japan, and the United Arab Emirates, this missile system boasts a range of 20 to 35 kilometers, with dimensions of approximately 5.2 meters in length and a launch weight of around 700 kilograms. Distinguishing itself from conventional missiles with explosive warheads, the PAC-3 employs a hit-to-kill interception methodology, obliterating its target through the kinetic energy generated upon direct impact, sans explosion. This feat is facilitated by a solid propellant rocket motor. For precise target navigation and engagement, the PAC-3 is outfitted with an active radar seeker nestled in the missile's nose, enabling autonomous tracking and engagement capabilities. 
This guidance system receives mid-course updates from ground-based radar and an onboard inertial navigation system, achieving a remarkable top speed of Mach 5, approximately 6,173 km per hour. The integration of the N-MPQ-65 radar enhances detection and tracking capacities, rendering the Patriot Pack-3 an indispensable asset in contemporary missile defense strategies. In Europe, NATO allies such as Germany, Romania, Spain, and the Netherlands have entered contracts to procure 1,000 Pack-2 GEMT missiles, signifying a collaborative approach to bolster air defense capabilities efficiently and economically. This collaborative endeavor incorporates significant local production elements, indicative of a paradigm shift towards more geographically distributed manufacturing in defense procurement. Overall, the escalation in Patriot missile production underscores a strategic response to both present exigencies and anticipated defense requirements worldwide, propelled by mounting geopolitical tensions and the imperative to uphold robust defense postures across multiple theaters. That's all for now, see you later.